Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Cheers to those of you that have your beer. So cool tool Tuesday, Jeff No Show. Uh, no real fault of his own. He had to go pick up a toolbox and he had a certain time frame uh, that he was allotted for the day in order to do so. So I kind of missed him by about 20 minutes, honestly. He showed up to the shop bright and early. Uh, around 9, 9.30 or so, and I had already taken off for like a breakfast, lunch kind of deal or whatever, and uh, so we missed him. But we did get the ProTec August catalog, uh, which coincidentally, I accidentally left it at work because I took the motorcycle today. Uh, but I'll make sure to see if I can't get something put together for you guys within the next day or two. But today's gonna be more of a mechanic vlog. I did get a, a message from a N2 Boss Whips his question was, how can someone that already has a career get into being a mechanic? Uh, I already have a career, but I've always worked on my own cars, but I wouldn't mind expanding my knowledge. So, into Boss Whips, uh, I got a few ideas for you really outside of the video that I uh, shared with you, um, which you, you already gathered some of the information from as far as like, are you too old to basically change careers or, or get into being a mechanic? Um, but this one's a little bit more different, so I think his idea obviously is to keep his uh, current career, um, but just get a little bit more knowledge from the mechanical specter. So there's a few things you can do. Um, there's plenty of online courses. You got AC Delco, Valvoline has their own. Um, then of course O'Reilly's Auto Parts has online training courses that they do now. They used to do physical courses, in which case if you scrolled through my playlist of the mechanic vlog, I did go to a transmission course, you might get some more information from that. So if you're kind of curious to see what that physical course entailed, I think it's a two part series. You should be able to get some information from there and enjoy that. Uh, as far as getting more knowledge about cars, there's a couple other things that you can do kind of on your own. So if you want to get more into diagnostics, you can get like these books from, I believe it's Delmar. Uh, I've been utilizing them for a while for ASCs. I'm sure there's some other good books out there. Um, anyone that's watching right now that currently knows other books or training seminars that you can uh, do to gain extra knowledge as being a mechanic, uh, please feel free to share those down below um, for Boss Whips. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. I know I appreciate it and I'm sure others would appreciate it too. But you can use a DVOM. Uh, if you purchase like a two channel lab scope, say from uh, AES, uh, AES Wave, um, then you can actually do your own scope readings and stuff like that on your own. Uh, even when the car has no problems, you can usually see what a good waveform looks like or if you're doing it correctly. And then should you have any problems, whether it be with like uh, coil ramp testing or checking fuel injectors or camshaft, crankshaft, correlation, things like that, uh, you can get a better, a more than better idea of what a known good uh, sensor looks like. Um, and what a bad one would look like. So that should help you out a great deal. Other channels that I would strongly recommend that cover diagnostics to a heavier degree, which you can kind of follow along if you're having similar issues, would be like uh, Keith DeFazio, of course, Eric from South Main Auto, there's Scanner Danner, there's Diagnostic Dan. Uh, there's a handful of other people that, that strictly just do diagnostics on their channel. Of course, Scanner Danner being a uh, college professor and teaching it for a living. He's got plenty of good content, especially on his premier channel if it's even still up and running. Um, but he's got lots of good content. You can learn a lot from these guys. So I would strongly recommend going and doing that. Taking your ASCs and getting certifications could help because you're gaining knowledge from a book and trying to transfer it over to the real world. Uh, if you're looking to get into a shop, be it part-time, I knew of only two part-timers uh, that worked at the dealership. They would come in for like a half day or a couple hours uh, and then maybe even a Saturday. Uh, trying to find an auto shop that's open on Saturday and Sunday is going to be kind of rare. Um, if they really wanted to try to help you out, I suppose they might try to squeeze you in on a Saturday. Um, but the chances are, are, in my opinion of course, uh, very unlikely, but it depends, you know, maybe there's an independent shop out there uh, in your neck of the woods that um, like does work on the weekends. For instance, like Jay Young, he's got his own tractor shop, right? So he works on the weekends. Uh, Clay, Coon Trucking, I know that he tries not to work on the weekends, but sometimes he does. Um, I know that Michael, like flat rate master, okay? 
I think that he sneaks in every once in a while to try to catch up on some work being like the shop foreman or shop lead, right? So there's a couple of guys that you can definitely learn more information about as far as mechanics go. And like I said, online training seminars and courses will help you out a great deal. Um, you could probably go part-time to a community college to just get some courses underneath your belt if you have time in the morning or, or what have you. I don't know if they have evening courses. And I'm not exactly sure what your work schedule is or what they're gonna do, what colleges are gonna do as far as their educational platform when it comes to automotive. Because of the whole pandemic, I feel like it's gonna be a lot more challenging here in the near future um, to take physical courses until they find a cure or vaccine. So uh, I don't know, everything's a little bit weird and different right now. You know, I know there's a lot of uh, small independent shops that have closed down as a result too. So I wanna wish you the best of luck. Uh, check out these channels again, like I had already previously mentioned. Uh, put your head in the books a little bit. I know that there are some places that'll actually sell you full course books that you can kind of thumb through and learn on your own. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, guys, like I said, we'll try to cover the August ProTech catalog within the next couple days. Just wanted to keep this video kind of short and answer his questions. So that's all I got for this video. Thanks as always for watching. Uh, cheers to those of you that have your beers and we'll see you guys next time. This is...